Now, your storm track weather with meteorologist Eli Miller. A cooler start this morning with temperatures in the lower to middle 60s and the temperatures similar to our dew points and with light wind. Seeing some fog in some areas. Earlier, I saw some fog on our clay center cam, but right now, just seeing some low lying, fast moving clouds. Again, you could see some patchy fog, so if you do see that, just take it slow in some areas this morning. Not really too big of an issue. Current temperature right now still cooler. 64 degrees feels like 64 dew point in that lower 60s and uh, winds calm right now and we won't see much wind throughout this afternoon throughout the rest of the morning and throughout this afternoon. Temperatures lower to middle 60s. Some places nearly in the 50s, 60 degrees at Clay Center, 61 at Marysville, 61 at Burlington, down to 59 degrees at Lawrence and the here's our dew points in the upper 50s and lower 60s. So it won't cool off too much more in some areas, but still uh, a cool start this morning and drier air in place and winds right now light most for the most part not really seeing any wind anywhere but sometimes a north wind from three to five miles per hour higher up a mostly clear sky but again some low level clouds in some areas but generally mostly clear starting off this morning and seeing some weak disturbances across well, the central u.s as this large area of low pressure continues to kind of dominate our weather pattern centered over the the midwest this is what's giving us our cooler pattern and kind of the sporadic rain chances that we've seen throughout the weekend. That will continue the next couple of days. Eventually, though, this area of low pressure will move off towards the east and will give way to this area of high pressure, well, which is a bit more summer-like heat. We'll start to build its way back into the area. We're still going to see a few sporadic rain chances for the next couple of days, but then after that, we start to dry out again. So future track starts this morning, 7 in the morning, a mostly clear sky, and then some cloud cover builds in this afternoon. Now, holding on to a chance for a few sporadic showers that may develop and mainly into our north and western counties. Again, not a significant rain chance, but some folks may see a few showers and uh, a few sprinkles, maybe up to a quarter inch of rain in some areas very briefly if we do see a brief downpour. More showers develop into the overnight hours, mainly along I-70 and towards the north, and generally light rain, but at times maybe up to moderate rain. Not a lot of rain. Then another chance for rain develops later on on Tuesday afternoon. You're seeing the trend here, sporadic on and off showers again today and tomorrow, maybe possibly a thunderstorm for Tuesday afternoon before that eventually clears out into Tuesday night. Then we start to dry out and heat back up as we go on into Wednesday. So highs today climbing to the middle 80s, starting off tomorrow morning with temperatures cool on the cool side again, lower 60s. Then we start to warm up upper 80s, lower 90s. And then on Wednesday, talking about more widespread lower 90s. Wednesday morning, middle to upper 60s, a few lower 70s. Wednesday afternoon, then things start to crank up again. Lower to middle 90s for highs on Wednesday afternoon. And really the back half of July here looks to be on the hotter side again, especially just off the seven day. 86 for your high today, 89 tomorrow with the chance for a few showers and isolated thunderstorms for today and tomorrow. Only a 30% chance. Again, most folks do stay dry. 93 on Wednesday, 91 on Thursday. Lots of sunshine this weekend, but getting hot. 94 on Saturday, 95 on Sunday.